Hello, welcome back to Wild Frost. It is today, Tuesday. Remember when I said I was going to tell you what day it was and then I completely forgot? Yeah. Did I notice this yesterday, I think? Or perhaps it was today. I don't remember. But the banner on the pet shop, I think, changes based on what pet you used in a recent run. Look at this, it's purple now because we used Loki yesterday. Today we are Shade Mancing. You know, I am... Man, remember yesterday's hero? 9 HP, 4 attack, 4 timer. This is just worse on every front. That's wild. This hero is worse across the board. I'm gonna keep picking these barrage heroes, though. I think they're good. 8 HP is cool. Uh, we'll play Lil Ghazi today. I, high, high enough HP, low attack, early game monster Lil Ghazi. You can be okay. I think it's alright. I, you know... Mostly I'm trying to pick things to branch out from playing Spike, and I think I've played everything other than Lil Ghazi, now that we're on this nice little beta. So I will play Lil Ghazi today. Immediately have to be cautious that I don't run out of HP. We're gonna probably just freeze the snowbow. Freeze the child up. So my hero will tie the snool. I'll probably just let the snool fit Lil Ghazi. Oh, you know what I actually want to do here? I want to redraw. I want... This is a, a perfect redraw. I want Junjun -Jun to take the snoof for me. Thank you, Junjun. -Jun. Okay, now Lil Ghazi deals four. So what I'll probably do... We're going to focus on just getting the two kills. So we'll take two kill here. Baby Snowbow is up and Adam. Nothing I can do. Like, there's no two kill to be had here. And that's fine. What I'll do is I'll just kill the goblin. Or I'll hit the goblin a few times. This Winter Worm looks a pain. But I think the early game is okay for us. It usually is. Though the game is a lot simpler at the start of the run, I think. I wouldn't say... It, it is easier, but it's easier in a way that I think makes sense and gives them room to improve the design, I would say. Because I feel like... I'm good. I feel like the way the game played before, where you just had to hit multi-kills like it was, was not healthy. Because your runs were often decided on how good they were based on if you rolled the correct fights or not. Which wasn't good, I would argue. I would go so far as to say it was pretty bad overall. Okay, so Hero Queen's up down here. We do take four. Don't mind too much. Well, Gazi tanks this. I'm going to hit Snowbow. Take my four damage. And now... The nice part about this is, of course, Jun Jun makes this fight unlosable. I have infinite chump blocking. Not too bad. And we'll take it. Like, this fight, I didn't play anything. I didn't have to play super smart or safe, and I pulled up a... Yeah, a 70 gold. Very nice. I do hope they add and expand the difficulty. I think the game was honestly just too hard on release. And I'm happy with where... I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm hopeful for the future. That's my feeling. Grav, Van Jun, or Tusk? Let's think. Van Jun is cool. Very fun. Grav? I haven't had a good run with Grav in a while. And Tusk? Tusk is the most generally good, but I like to just pick something that's exciting. I'm gonna play Grav. The why here is... Uh, well, Grav, if I high roll, has the highest potential to just get out of control of these three options. Out of control fast, I should say. Like, if I put bird here, things get really, really powerful. Groff's gonna be better as well because of more crowns. Oh, yeah. We're gonna be kind of popping off on them here. With all the crowns we get now, we get explosive bird as well. I want a guarantee that I get Groff before bird so I don't have any weird circumstances. And let's go. Remember, we have to sacrifice bird. Not just for Groff, but in general, you have to sacrifice the bird. And where's my bird? Well, I'm redrawing now. Yeah, when sacrificed, summon Chikani. Chikani. This Shrudels is horrific. I hate this. 
very much don't like it. What we'll do here is we will play our bird. And then we'll press the bell. Because the problem I faced here is I didn't like that I was losing value. But it's fine, because bird plus groff will absolutely clean up on this turn. That explosion plus groff going... Yeah, that's a 4 kill. Very nice, and now everything is lovely. All the puffballs are dead, Jun Jun is here to tank poison. I could maybe go so far as to just press the button here. In the worst of cases, if I get triple hit on bird, I think it's kind of bad, but that's not going to happen. And splitting means that I get to sacrifice Jun Jun. I do kind of just want to pull it in. not a sacrifice this way. That's okay. I'm good with... I should redraw because there's no reason not to redraw. We'll always draw at least one tar blade. We clean up the top. Give me... Like, this is another fight that is very much just beaten by the existence of Jun Jun. Jun Jun tanks so long here. Tanks forever. I don't want to play any of these cards, but hmm, I'll just play Berry Bell. This is like a pass turn. I don't care about what I do here. I need my bird to swing so that I can then sacrifice it on a future turn. Probably like this hits the bulb head. Hmm. Give it a sec. Let it cook. Oh, uh, Groff goes pre-combat, so I actually can't set up a cool quadruple or triple kill. Right, because Groff goes before combat plays, so I can't have Groff kill the boss, so I can't get a three kill. That's fine. I could do it if I stalled for my hero to get it, but that's fine. I'll just take the two. I'm, I am now, I no longer care. I have overcome what I once was. I no longer need to min-max for the combo kills as much, and so I won't. I don't need to anymore. At the end of the day, I'm going to get enough crowns anyway to have my Groff probably just win us the game. We have everything we need, except for I need a few crowns, and I would like a Skullmas tea, ideally, but anything is fine. Snowcake, uh, Mimic is actually pretty sick with it here, because it goes every time Groff goes. I'm a pretty big Mimic fan. I, it's a bit, I think I like it more than Snowcake, although Snowcake is very good. <laughs> you know what I want? I wonder if they thought about the fact that the gnome can give you a card that is just unplayable with Haze Keg. There are many recycle cards that you just cannot do. Very funny. One of the other things I think is a shame, and I hope they change, is I hope they do something with the summon on enemy sides cards. Because those are just... I mean, what do you do? I'm going to take Big Barry here. I know we have the Sacrifice combo, but Devacrow isn't real. And I will actually not play Big Barry here. And we will move on. Yeah, Sheep Hopper Mask, what am I going to do with this? I will buy... I was going to buy Yeti Skull, but I don't feel like I need it. Smackback Charm, it's okay. Mm, I want... B-pop is also just not something that you can really do sacrifices for because it's when destroyed. Yeti Skull is... I, it, it's a good card. I shouldn't sleep on it. I was going to consider holding the money. Don't forget to put the crown on. I'll crown my bird. I'm probably going to hold off but because I don't want to get so many charms that I can't put them all on Groff. Smackback Charm is pretty mid overall. We want to keep our eyes peeled for something better. I wonder if someone has sent in feedback about the way the wave bell works on bosses. I hope so. I hope so. Because it'd be real nice. I'd love to be able to hit the wave bell here. And wait for my bird to die. A shame. Well. Not much of a cool or interesting choice here. I just have to... And I do have time. I can wait for the board to fill up. I'm going to hit the Winter Worm down to two. 
Because this is not the sacrificed bird, it's not the summoned bird, so it will uh, it will not die when it attacks. So I can clean up the baby snowbow. I worry a little bit about my money here, but not a ton. So Bamboozle's obviously very dead. I... I think I go bird, bird up. There's no reason to use Yeti Skull here. It's a bit of a trap. Because I don't... Like, uh, whatever I freeze is going to be wasted. So it's better for me to just get the draw going and tick down to a new card. Like so. And just clean up like this. And I... We have good freezes, so I'll probably be killing Bam here. And leaving Boozle alive. A shame, because we lost a bit of a coin flip here. But that's okay, Jun Jun double tanks the round, just to be, you know, it's superstition at this point, but it's nice to feel safe. Hmm. Might be killing Boozle first. Is this all of the enemies? Let me see. Is this everything? No. I think I just want you to show me everything, to be honest. Hmm. The last thing is a snow gobbler, I'm pretty sure. It usually is. And the problem is that my board is very cluttered. Or no, the enemy board is very cluttered. I don't have a good way to set up like I would like. I think what I'll do is I'll play Mimic Top. And if he dies, he dies, is sort of what it looks like. Same thing with Bird here. You can't be you can't be right here all the time. Sometimes you're going to lose an aimless 50-50, and there's not much you can do about it. Uh, losing Bird here does kind of suck, though, because that's my sacrifice. Hmm. Oh, I bury Bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I can't lose Bird here. And if I lose Mimic, such is life. Cool. Love to see it. Ah, oh, dude, excellent. Nothing went against me. How exciting. Now we want to just make sure we time everything out properly here. I'm... pretty sure... pretty sure I just have to win the fight, pretty much. Like, not as, not as in, like, I have to win it or I'm going to die. I have to win it as in I don't think I have a choice but to win. Let me see what the, the final enemy is. It's gotta be Snow Gobbler. It's always Snow Gobbler. Just get him on the board so that whatever survives gives me money. It would go 6, 3, 6, 3. Or. I, uh, sorry. Let me use my mouse for this so you can see as well. 6, 3, 6, 3. I guess that's fine, actually. Like this. And Yeti Skull Bottom. This is okay. We freeze this whole row. 6363. Six, three. That's okay. And then we bring Hero down to deal 3 to all of these, soften them up a little bit. They're all one shot. It's in here, Triple Tarblade. So it's. My next three turns are Junjun Redraw Tarblade, and that goes before any of the enemies can go. Oh, but it doesn't go before my bird goes. So bird kills Snow Gobbler, Redraw, and then I blast Junjun. A good one where I have to sit here and think, not because- Oh no, Mimic! I knew I forgot something. Oh well. They drop money, so it's not a big loss, but yeah, that was a- I actually, I probably made about the same amount of money. It's whatever. I knew I missed something there. It's, it just felt too easy. Redraw Bell Counter is okay. I have a lot of cards I do want to play. Summon builds are usually good for Redraw Bell because there's just so much you want to be playing. But with that being said, plus 5 HP leader is just really safe. And I don't think I need the Redraw Bell, to be honest with you. My stance nowadays is just click that because it's safe. And I need to be, I don't, I don't, I don't need anything else. I'm good. Car Merchant right before... Ah, okay. So the way that this actually works, as I've been told, is that one of these cards at random is free of junk. 
Uh, sure. I guess. Lamb charm is bad for me. Gnome charm doesn't do much. Bite charm. Whatever. Consume multi-hit ice dice. Whatever. Don't really care for any of that. This is a run where I do want to just pick up a bunch of crowns, but Soulbound Skulls goes insanely hard here. I think you can do it either way. I, w I lean a little bit towards the crown line, so I think I will. But I think Soulbound Skulls is also pretty good. And so we're going to play a crown on Tarblade to kill Chica Chi, and then a crown on Yeti Skull to kill Chica Ni. Or I think it might be better to play a crown on Mimic. You know what I'll do? We'll do this setup. We'll do crown on Mimic, crown on Lil Ghazi. And then the next two crowns will be these two, and we'll get pretty big value out of that. In a perfect world, I pull a Skull Misty, and then this run is super over. But not every world is perfect. And that's okay. I'll be all right. Or, oh man. Oh, I just want to press the bell here. Give me my value. Uh, okay, I'm actually going to delay for my value then. We'll play Jun Jun first. Let him thank the Makoko Zero. I just want to burn this Makoko down. So we'll Tarboid. 6 3 6 3. We'll be like hearing me say that combination of numbers. Now I can press the bell. Bring in... Uh, I was hoping the Makokos would come in together, but that's okay. Uh, it probably goes here. 6-3-6 six, six kills. 3 goes here. So I get a 4 kill off of this, which is fine. I don't need to do the freeze. It's better to do the tar blade for that explosion. Because I can then Yeti Skull and it's just better. Because I can get the kill whenever I want. I think I'll play... 4 plus 1 and then 3 on the goblin. We take 1 on our hero. Take 1 on the bird is a little better. 3 on the goblin. And then... Everything's dead. I guess I'll just press the bell. I don't need to redraw it first because I want Yeti Skull in my hand here. Ooh, scary place for that Makoko to come in. Six three six three starts gassing him up. Makoko is going to hit a three on me. Oh, no, he's frozen. Never mind. I don't have to care. Six three. Oh, the Makoko takes six. That's good. Yeah, now we're getting a little juiced up here. Very nice. Just gonna defuse the real threat, and now we're chilling. Good fight, everyone. Very good work. This run is much in my control. I think Groff got a lot better when they added so many more crowns. I mean, everything got better, but Groff is particularly a lot better because more crowns is more stuff to play in the crown phase, which is, uh, you know, good, of course, because more, I guess it's, sorry, finished the thought. More sacrifices in the crown phase is a faster start for Groff, which is better across the board for you. Okay. I think I'm going. I mean, it's charm versus treasure. Let's see if there's a skull misty here. Ah, too bad. Fun to dream. I like taking things like Blame Bank and Totem of the Goat just to have another way to sacrifice. It's pretty solid. Charm is good. I think that skull misty is so strong here that I will go top path just to hope for it. There's no unit you ever show me here that I care about. Uh, I'll click Barry Sis. Maybe I would play Barry Sis, but Barry Sis and Big Barry are probably just gonna go hang out. Full Misty, reward me. Oh, I'm rewarded in a different way with Chrono. Chrono's also very good here. Probably I will remove Lil Ghazi and just put Chrono in his place. New Moon Biscuit's okay. Mega Mimic's okay. It's just 15 damage. I think it's Chrono for sure. Decrown Lil Ghazi, put it over to Chrono. That's good with me. 
And we'll just go, oh, oh, we will Gazi in. But I have an expectation that we're not going to find the time to play Will Gazi in this fight. That's what I would guess. Yeah, because now we're getting up there in the numbers. Eh, you know, I could probably play Will Gazi here. How sad. So what I should do here is I should redraw... So that I can try to punch down an enemy. Let my hero take this. Yeah, like I can play Bling Bank. Hero takes two. Sorry about this Bling Bank, but I care about my charm. Oh god. Oh jeez. Okay. Uh, now I. Kill Bling Bank. And then it's 5, 2, 2, it's 9, it's plenty. Good for me. And we're doing this, of course, because we care about the explosion charm on Bird, and we wanted to hit as many enemies as possible here. So now I will press the bell. Oh, yuck. That's okay. In the worst of times here, I will lose my Mimic to the teeth, and that is fine. Groff will always survive and kill, though. So we will go boom. I'm not going to do the math. I don't care that much. It'll be fine. A shame that the Explode Charm doesn't give you any money from the Goblin there. Okay, and yeah, we're chilling. Hero does hit a 2. Groff takes a 2. I definitely don't want to press the bell. We got a little bit of time to do some catching up now. Hit this big foot. I should rotate there. That's just a misplay. For sure. I should rotate Mimic and Chrono up. I missed a bunch of damage there for no reason. Bird swings, hits a... Goes down to one. Uh, Mimic deals four. Do eight to the Gromble. I think I'd rather redraw. Because I can do eight to this Gromble, or I can just redraw and get a Junjun -jun on the board. Probably a little bit better, because this will let me do back-to-back -back summons, or back-to-back -back, uh, sacrifices. Should I so desire. And I do. I think I should hit the wave bell. So I'm going to waste a bunch of damage otherwise, or just waste a turn by playing berry bell. 5-2-2 two, two kills Gromble. The problem here, of course, is that my this pop hog deals a lot of damage to me. And I knew he'd be here. That's fine. I think I just race and win. Because I kill Big Blue very fast. It's... I mean, we do 15 plus... Well, we do 27 in a round. Do I die to Papa? 5, 2, 2, 5, 2, 2... 5... No, I don't. Okay. I will just cash out here and we'll leave. I don't want to be here anymore. The only thing worth considering is if Grop would die to Pawpaw there, and Grop does not die to Pawpaw here. I don't think anyone dies to Pawpaw here, but I don't have to care about the Mimic. It was close. Okay, good stuff. Very strong. And we get... Oh man, I wanted Crown. That's okay. I'm going Muncher here. I want to get rid of this junk. For sure. And probably... Because I'm playing around Groff, Sunburst 2 2 is pretty dead. So I'll probably just toss that. I like keeping the Tarblades in Sacrifice runs because it's easier to kill things with better Tarblades. Kill your own units, that is. And Raspberry Charm is okay. I don't think I'm buying Block or Scrap Charm. A little bit of a shame how few crowns I have right now. I only have four. Man. Can you imagine that? Crunker is annoying. And did I play Lil Gazi in that last fight? I sure didn't, because there's better things to do than give myself a plus one with Lil Gazi. This fight will probably be annoying, though. I'm not gonna play the Smackback charm. It's gonna be annoying to punch through spike walls, I expect. And the Demon Grink is here. Maybe I should play the other way. Hmm, let's see, we got Yeti Skull. 6-2-2, two, two. it's... I'm... I can't quite just run my way through this fight, I feel. 
I feel like we gotta play a little bit more respectful. Because I need the money. I guess I don't really need the money, though. When you think about it. I... I'm gonna Yeti Skull Bird. It's fine. Drop goes, Grink dies. I'm phasing Krunker immediately with this, and that's fine. Not much I can do about the fact that there are no enemies on my screen right now. Like, I have no choice. I can't make them spawn in here, unfortunately. And Krunker's gonna die pretty fast. Feels threes. Avoid this. I can take three on Bird and then Sack later. Probably... When did the Spike Ball take one? I must have played something on it and then forgotten. What did I play on Spike Wall? I played Lumen Vase... Oh! Explode! Explode from Bird. I know. I got it now. Yeah, five enemies in two turns, so I can't do anything. It's really awkward, too, because I'd like to do something on the next turn. Because my bird's killing itself otherwise. Nothing I can do, though. Like, I, I can't make enemies spawn. And if I sacrifice my bird, well, you know. It's fine. Uh, you know, what would I have done before, right? That's the question. And the answer is I would have just done this. I would have just berry belled and then waited. I do hope they change that, though, because the wave bell change is really nice and cool. Hope they change it back, or change it so that it's more nice and cool than it already is. I don't like you, Krunker. I'm gonna kill Bird. This run would be a lot nicer if Krunker wasn't in it. That's some, he's got another hit coming, okay. I think ultimately what I came to the conclusion of is I don't care that much about the money here. Because, you know, I'm pretty rich and I got a whole fight after this one to go through. So I will probably... Can I summon? No. Krunker, the real problem here is that Krunker kills himself. I have no play. He is dead. He dies. He dies to himself. I guess I'll play Bling Bank. I was going to sacrifice it, but I guess I can play it for the money. There's a three hitting my bird. Hmm. I could sacrifice it and... No, I'll take the... I'll take the eight gold, because if I just end turn, the fight ends and I'm not in any danger. Spuncher hits bird. Oh, wait, am I in danger? No, it's only three damage. Spuncher hits bird. Does my hero get hit here? I think they will. I'll freeze to be safe. Chrono dies. It's all good. I don't actually know if Spuncher would have hit my bird, though. Or, oh, sorry, if Krunker would have hit my hero. It looks like no, because my bird is dead and my hero did not immediately move up. Looks like they don't readjust until the end of round. Oh, man. How about this? No crown bell. I'll take card draw plus one. I think that's the first time I've ever had that happen. I don't really want to duplicate anything. I guess I'll take the money. What would I duplicate? Yeah, I don't want any of it. Okay. This run didn't really get out of control like I was hoping it would. It's just fine, and it's not spectacular. At least we don't have to fight hogs today. I will play... Crown Blade. And hopefully I get one more crown so that I can do two bird kills on turn one. I can't wave bell on turn one, can I? No. A shame. Truly. I should do vase, actually. I should turn one vase so that I have full value here in the future. Oh well. I know now. I know where I'm going with this one. This is... I learned by doing here. It's the best way to go forward. Just do things and then optimize for the future. I don't need to be too worried about min-maxing on that front. Play Bling Bank. I'm redrawing for vase. Sorry, but I should I should speak what I mean correctly. Uh, what I mean is I don't need to be too worried about min-maxing uh, 
Oh, I, I don't need to be theory, theory crafting, is what I'm trying to say. I can just kind of play, and it'll work itself out. I could get Groff the extra 1 HP here. I just don't want to. I just really don't want to do that. It's going to take so much effort. 6, 2, 2, six, oh, six two, two, 2, it's fine. I kill Bird, and then we see what happens. We may make the most tanky burster known to man. Uh, he'd only get, what, he'd get 6 block? And then I think he just loses it all immediately, right? Uh, he, yeah, he actually loses it immediately. Mm. Okay. I guess I play 4 so that Bird kills Burster. And then... I'm just gonna draw because I can. 7 card draw actually makes a pretty big difference in this fight. In this run, I should say. Same thought about Berry Bell. I could do it if I wanted to, I just don't want to. Could have moved Mimic down as well. I'm gonna press the bell because I have nothing to do here. I don't like it's so weird because I don't even care about enemy turn timers or my turn timers. I just because I can kill bird whenever I want. So I really just wanna pull the enemies in as fast as I can. I'm gonna go down like this because I wanna wipe the bottom out. And we'll Yeti spell top, even though it's kind of a waste. It buys me one turn. Mostly we're doing it for the kill. And for, this is a build that we're actually going to have a great time killing Numskull with. It's so nice. Look at him. He's he, It's so over for Numskull. And I'm going to keep the bling, bang out, bling bank out because I'm greedy and I like money. And what I can do here is I can just fast draw two times to hit the card I need. I'll bring the chrono up. It actually matters quite a bit here, because getting rid of this burster makes my life a world of difference easier. That one matters enough that I will care. And now we bring chrono back down and the fight's over. We're very strong, I have to tell you. Even though it wasn't wasn't a perfect setup, we're very strong in this one. I think we have enough upfront damage that we'll be fine in the final bosses. Especially if I get one more crown here. And especially, especially, there's a. I can still hit a Skull Misty. There's still time. But I can also just reorganize my crowns to be pretty strong. Huh, two chances. Any Skull Misties in here? Hmm. I can take. I like Grabber a lot, because it's a free play for a sacrifice. Show it to me. Ah, too bad. Well, at least we know we tried. I don't want Agile Skull. I don't need another kill and ally card. I believe I just buy three crowns and leave. Flame Blade Charm is pretty fun. I think it maths out to be usually just worth it to play Flame Blade Charm. Chuckle Charm, where were you yesterday? What the hell? Angu Charm, I'm haunted. I don't need Fallow Mask. Like, it doesn't bring anything interesting to the table. Just like Agile Skull doesn't bring anything interesting to the table. I don't need any of this stuff. I'm good. I'm leaving. Crown goes to Lumen Vase. And we will... I think I don't want to have to kill Bird on turn one. Maybe... Mm, I guess it's fine. Here you go, Groff. You can have it all. I think Overburn Groff is very strong here as well. I mean, I wouldn't say very strong. I think it's good. Apply six. Oh, because I can Lumen Vase this. Wait a minute. 12 times 2, or 12 times 3 versus 6 times 4. Uh, better to Lumen Vase. Yeah, 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 look at that. There is a good point. Something I have not thought about when doing the math with Overburn. You can Lumen Vase it. Yeah, how about it? I don't think Pengu Charm gets anywhere today. No Skull Misty for it, unfortunately. He's grinking me. The grinky has arrived. And I click chrono. And I do 12 times 3 over burn. Bird hero. I'm down to just tarblade it. I think we will win very fast against this boss. Great job, Mimic. Like, I don't think I have to wait, because I'm pretty sure he's done, like, now. I think it's already over, actually. 
me see. Two plus two, I think. I will just grab her the bling bank. Worth mentioning that pressing the bell is probably worth it here since I'm killing him with overburn. It's gonna. No, it doesn't matter, actually. What I can do here, though, is I can buy myself... I, I can not go immediately. I can give myself another turn. Because I can go Bling Bank now. Uh, I should wait one more turn, I think. Okay. This is a little more conceptual, I feel. I want to pass the turn to set my bird to one. Now I Numlin the Grabber... Numlin Grabber Bling Bank to proc bra. Boss explodes immediately. The new wave spawns in, but it's still my turn. And the top half just dies instantly. Like that. And now I go again. I Oh, I press the wave bell. And now I go again with two new targets. This is such a cool way to turn this fight out, or to play this fight through. You could do it with Tarblade too, uh, and that's probably a little bit better. But I'm pretty sure this is over. Yeah, that was a, that was such a cool turn. I got a was that a 9x combo? That was an 8x combo on the Frost Guardian. Have you ever seen that before? I don't think I have. That felt pretty cool. So what did we take away from that? I can apply roughly 70. I I will kill an entire row of this fight on turn one, given. The circumstance. That's the takeaway here. I will actually blow out an entire row on turn one, which means that this fight's over, this run's over. I have to make sure that I plan accordingly. I don't even think I need to do anything else. I think this setup is perfectly fine. The Jailer will be dead probably before the turn timer counts down, but it'll be a little close. The Mimic does matter here because he brings in a decent amount of damage. He brings, what is it, 12 extra damage per round, so it's like a free swing of Gra, which is worth having. And so we'll do 36 here, plus the 12, so it's actually 48, I believe. Mm -hmm. Now I will... Okay, so we're going to do the same trick here. We'll play Bling Bank. The Noomlin Grabber Bling Bank combo for the Overburn deck is pretty cool. Oh, I need screenshots. Oh, shit. One second. I'll be right back. I almost forgot about them. Hey, I'm back. I didn't take my screenshots yet. I want to wait for the Jailer to die because I don't want Unmovable on Gra. Therefore, I will first be doing this. And this will kill the Jailer with the help of the Mimic. Boom. And now... Now I will take my screenshots. Be right back. For real, for real. Screenshots acquired. My opponents may now die. Uh, so it goes... I think the best way to play this out to finish most efficiently is Jun Jun Mask, so that Crusher hits Bird. And then Tarblade Bird. And then Yeti Skull the next bird, and that's a win. Yeah. The Overburn Charm ends up being pretty cool here. I've been a bit skeptical of it in the past, and the note here is that while it seems like the Overburn Charm is doing less damage, or so, sorry, while it may seem like at times the Overburn Charm is wasted, if the Overburn ever procs, you're gaining so much extra damage from the Overburn Charm that it's just so worth it. Because there was a run recently where I just skipped it and I didn't play it on a character, and the takeaway here is that it, I can't imagine a reason not to do it, because at the end of the day, putting Overburn on an enemy is basically reducing their max health. I'm, try I'm, I'm trying to think of a counterpoint. If you have a counterpoint to this, please give it to me. But I think that the way that it works is if an enemy has two Overburn on them, that's basically them taking two damage. And there's an upside of if you drop their health below the Overburn number, they deal that much damage to the whole row, which is big, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I want to go back to town. I want to see if the banner changed. It did! Look at that. That's cool. Huh. Alright, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.